It is the residence of choice for visiting presidents and very, very important persons. Both Presidents Bush Sr. and Jr. have called Singapore's Shangri-La Hotel home during their separate visits here, as has former South African President Nelson Mandela. The hotel has also hosted important world leaders during the IMF and WTO meetings, and more imminently, the APEC leaders' meeting this month. With its reputation for housing presidents and such VVIPs, the Shangri-La understandably spares no effort in ensuring the safety and security of all their guests. Before the VVIP steps into the hotel, I think we have really made arrangements with the events to speak on the security measures with the appropriate protection officer. When the vehicle comes in, there will always be at least two security officers to be at the lobby. Guest relations should also train in security awareness programs so they will know basically who the suspicious character before the VIP come in. We will do a sweep of the hotel to make sure that there's no suspicious character around unattended bags or just things out of the ordinary. And then we will man a lift by itself to get the VIP up to this particular floor. When the VIPs come here, right, is there a certain group of people who will have contact with them? I have a group of VVIP trained security boys. Okay, they are trained in leaf rescue. They are trained to be in the leaf or the leaf control. So they do not panic if they get stuck in the leaf. They are trained in all emergencies, as you see, rescue techniques, firefighting, security awareness, profiling the works. And they will go through. And these people have been selected through the years to be more, more, more experienced, more calm, cool, and collected. As for the person who is the first point of contact with the VVIPs, he has to undergo more rigorous training and be extra vigilant and observant. The domain basically will know who the VIP is coming in, who are the patrons, what the normal car, a car that comes in every day. We give them what we call a profiling training month, how to determine a person ordinary or how to determine the person the different clothes at different times of the day. Just like, for example, on a hot day, a guy with a big big jacket coming in, something is out of the ordinary, maybe he won't even inform us. So anything that's peculiar or out of the ordinary, he has to inform us. Mr Pinto insists that a high level of security is necessary, but assures us that the comfort of the guests are far from being compromised. Hotel security cannot be taken for granted in this modern age of urban terrorism. Such tragedies have forced many hotels to step up their level of security to ensure the safety of all guests. In the next clip, the head of housekeeping reveals how the hotel's housekeeping staff are specially trained to deal with VVIPs.